Okay, so this video uh, will be about polynomial rings and this opens a whole new chapter in our set of videos. We begin with the definition of ring of polynomials over um, R, R being a ring. So let R, this is not real numbers, okay? Let R be a commutative ring. So we write it this way. R x is the set a n x to the power of n plus a n minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1 to a 1 x plus mm -hmm. a 0 such that a i is in the um, is in the ring these are not the reals again this is the ring and n is a I'm going to write non-negative integer this way okay a non-negative integer okay so this this uh, set is called the ring of polynomials over R over the ring in the so X is the, the indeterminate in the terminate in indeterminate X okay you usually call this something like I don't know the variable in calculus or in analysis you call this the variable or you call it the well many other words okay here in the context of ring theory we say that this is the ring of polynomials over the that ring in the indeterminate x okay if we have two elements a n x n this one basically a n minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1 etc and another element b n x to the power of n etc uh, they are both in the ring of polynomials uh, these two elements will be considered equal if a i equals b i for all these non-negative um, integers okay so only if a n equals b n a n minus 1 equals b n minus 1 etc only if all these elements and all these powers they are all equal then we say that this two elements are equal. So these elements like x, x squared, x n here, they are not unknown elements. Okay, this is not variables or unknown elements or uh, anything. Okay, from the ring, the this x to the power of something. Um, they se they separate the, the elements like a n in the ring. Okay. Um, this is a bit abstract, but we could even do this without this this uh, uh, indeterminates. We 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 could write it this way: a one, a two, etc. Okay. But we the the, the usual way to do it is writing this in the terminates because we are so used to manipulate this sort of uh, uh, indeterminates now a, a question here a very common question when we get to this point is uh, can we see this um, this polynomials as if it was functions well better not to do so 
okay because for instance uh, if I take the ring of uh, z3 okay and I take two polynomials I'm going to take one f of x and I'm going to take another one this one uh, if I take these two polynomials they they determinate the same function f from uh, z3 to z3 okay but in the ring of polynomials they are um, they are different elements they are not the same element okay so better not to look at this as functions okay and be careful here because this might be the same as this one in z3 but um, these two they are not the same okay so conclusion better not to look at this as functions okay 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 now we have to to make this rx the ring of polynomials into a ring we have to define addition and multiplication in the ring of polynomials okay so we are going to take uh, r as a commu commutative ring and we take two elements f of x a n x to the power of n plus a n minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1 etc till a 0 and g x b n x to the power of n till b 0 okay okay so the addition f of x plus g of x will be a s plus b s x to the power of s plus a1 plus b1 so this will be only the addition of these elements one by one okay where a i will be zero and um, for i greater than n and b i will be zero for i greater than m okay so we have addition and now we need multiplication okay where the multiplication will be cm plus n x to the power of f of m plus n and then cm plus n minus 1 etc to c1 x plus c0 where CK is going to be AK, B0, AK minus 1, B1, etc. For K, of course, equals 0, 1, 2, till M plus N. This is just the usual uh, uh, distribution, okay? This is the usual multiplication, nothing much here. The, the notation might be a bit heavy, but all this is really easy. Okay, let us do an example. Let us take f of x, 2x to the power of 3, x squared plus 2x plus 2, gx, 2x squared plus 2x plus 1, and uh, let's take it, for instance, in the ring of, okay, z3, okay, uh, okay, 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 question. What will f of x plus g of x is going to be? Okay, you can do that now, and and you can pause the video and and do it by yourself. Okay. Did you get to the conclusion that it is two x to the power of three plus x? because x to the power of 3 this one is no so this will be 0 this one is 0 for the indeterminate x 
to the power of 3, then it will be 1 plus 2, right, 3, and here it will be 2 plus 2 and 2 plus 1 here. Okay, so 2x to the power of 3, 2 plus 1, 0 in z3, so this 1 is 0x2, plus 2 plus 2, 1, 1x, and 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 0, right? So, okay, now let's do the product. You can pause the video now and try to do it, try to do the multiplication. Okay, I hope you got here. Please check if your multiplication was correct. So, um, for instance, 2 times 3 is 6, so we should have x to the power of 6, but then we had 2 times 2 is 0, so no x to the power of 6, etc. Please, if you have any problem, just let me know. Okay? Okay, now... Uh, just some uh, language here. Okay, for instance, uh, here, this polynomial. Okay, so, no, not this one. Let me pick this one, sorry. I'm going to pick, erase this, and let us pick, for instance, this one, okay? Okay, for this one, we say that f of x has the degree, in this case it is 3, okay? The biggest one, so to speak, okay? So that will be the degree n, okay? So that will be the degree, it will be the power of what we call the leading coefficient. This one, the very first one, let us say a n, meaning the first coefficient, is the leading coefficient. Uh, of f of x, of course. Okay? Okay. Um, if the leading coefficient is the multiplicative identity element of the ring, if the leading coefficient is the multiplicative uh, identity element of the, the ring, we say that f of x is monic, a monic polynomial. I hope this is clear for you. Okay. Um, of course, if you have f of x equals 0, this, this has no degree, okay? There's no degree here. Okay, uh, then the norm, the language is like if f of x, the polynomial, is, only, is equal only to a coefficient, we call this a constant. This is like in the functions, okay? Um, okay.